Hi everyone, um, Karis here and I'm doing the drawing for the free session and as you can see I've already got a bunch of the names in my little box here and this is the last row of them so I figured that I would go ahead and start the video as I'm finishing up because there are some things that I want to tell you um, about what I'm doing with these names <laughs> that just came to me spur of the moment as I was starting to compile them this morning so I could do the drawing. And I was, you know, getting my paper ready and going through my email and finding all of the people who have either signed up for the newsletter or just entered to win the reading or both. And it occurred to me, um, and this was definitely guidance because you know that jingle that comes when it's just your own creativity and that jingle that comes when there are guides telling you that perhaps this would be a good idea. And what they said was, you have all these people's names. They're going to be all together in one place. Just drawing one of them seems kind of silly. Why don't you give all of them a healing while you're doing it? And the wonderful thing about, for instance, just having your names, all of you who entered, and thank you so much for entering. I can really feel the love coming from all you guys um, as you sent in your forms. One of the things about having your names is that just with a name or a picture or even a thought, you can then send like a personalized energy airmail post <laughs> over to them. And it's kind of the same because on the energetic level, you can find people um, just by using their essence. And if you don't know what that feels like, the closest way I can think to explain it is by saying how if you're walking along in a shop one day and someone passes you who wears the perfume or cologne of an ex-lover and you all of a sudden get a whiff of that cologne or perfume and you're just taken back to the time where you were with the person that you used to love and um, how you just all of a sudden get such a feel of the essence of that person and of your experience with them. Well, on the energetic level, everyone has kind of a signature essence. I mean, I think it goes along with the fact that we all have very unique energy bodies. There are huge fingerprints that are unique to each person, and even at each incarnation of each person. So, anyway, now that I have all of your names that can attach to these energy prints, I will finish putting them in the box here. And then I will intend that what I'm about to do connects with all of your energies. Now that I'm finished, drop the scissors on the floor. <laughs> and now I will light, I'll get my little leaf plate over here. Let's see, is there any way put it? Yes. Light a little sage. You can see the ashes. I keep a leaf in my, I mean, a leaf, my sage and my cinnamon stick together on this little ceramic plate thing. I'm a sucker for leaves. Anything with leaves in it, I absolutely love. It's pretty easy to see what kind of stuff I would like for those who are like in my family with Christmas and stuff like that. Anyway, moving on. So get the smoke going and then just send the energy of the sage smoke, the purification, the healing, down into this beautiful little nest of all you guys' energies and intending that the purification of the sage flow through and flow to you and give you a healing. And I'm setting up a really strong intention that as you watch this, or even as I do it, because some of you might not watch it, I don't know, that your energy field is as much as you'll allow, because there's free will in here, so it's more just the option if you choose to accept it. It's kind of surrounding you even though it's not going into your body because, you know, it's not something that you requested, so it's an offer rather than a assured thing, that it clear you, clear any blockages that you're ready to have cleared, bless any projects that you're working on that ask for blessing, and to continue, I'll put on a little basil, and basil is a really powerful herb, um, the old herbal magic lore says that wherever basil is, no evil can lie, so if you're feeling kind of skeeved out, or say you have a haunted house or something, um, and you sprinkle basil on your doorstep and on all your windowsills is the easy way to keep negative energies out. That also goes, I think, for if you live in a dangerous neighborhood. <laughs> Something to think about. So anyway, um, sending basil in, asking that 
the unique energetic signature of the plant be activated now and clear out any negativity that's accepted to be cleared by you. Okay. And now, putting in some lavender. Hmm, a little bit. And lavender accesses heart energy and love and compassion. So putting in some lavender with the intention that it bring the heart energy to you and soften your experiences, bring lots of love-related experiences into your environment, romantic or non, whatever you're willing to accept and whatever you are requesting. And also this only goes as much as you're requesting it. And Oh, this is really interesting because <laughs> when you get used to feeling energy, it's kind of like a heat, but um, it's not actual heat. When I first started doing Reiki, the people I would do Reiki on said, oh my gosh, your hands are so hot, and then I would take my hand away and get them to feel my fingers because my hands are always cold, and even now they're cold, but when I go close to the, to the box, right around about a half inch over the top of it, I can feel this heat coming up from the box. It's not a physical heat, but... If you're not used to discerning the difference, that's what it feels like at first. Anyway, so now that I have the heart energy, the clearing energy, and the general blessing energy of the sage and of my intentions, I will put my little lid on. There you go. See, it's a present box. <laughs> and rub my hands together to get my own energy flowing, especially since it is a little bit chillier today than normally. Anyway. And... Allow the energy to flow through the box and request that each of you have a blessing and a healing and a balancing today and that all of your angels, guides, guardians, any unseen beings that assist you on your path with the highest intention come and assist you in even greater measure than ever before, that your synchronicities increase that miracles start happening for you on a daily basis, that your joy and delight at everyday life increases, and that all the things that you're hoping for, if they're in your best interest, come to you quickly and easily and gently. And if they're not in your best interest, that it be extremely easily, easily, easy for them to fall away and for things to come in their place that you do recognize as what is in your best interest and that feels wonderful. So, okay, good. And you know it's done because now it feels, all of a sudden I got this feeling in my hands of, oh, now it's a little bit cooler, as if like a cool wind went across my palms. So, now I will shake up the names. Make sure I get it really. Okay. And now I will draw one. And I'll intend that I draw the person who is just best for me to draw right now. <laughs> and got one. Okay, who is this? Eric. Eric H. And I won't tell you his last name because of privacy, but that's who gets the reading. Eric H. I will email you this afternoon. And for the rest of you guys, thank you so much for joining, um, for volunteering. And go in peace. Have a wonderful day. There are lots of things I need to update you on that I'm very excited about, but I won't do it in this video because this was just for the drawing, so expect more in the extremely near future, like today or tomorrow. Anyway, um, Eric, I'll be in touch, and the rest of you guys, thanks again. Have a great day. I hope you felt the healing and that you allow it in and that it blesses you in whatever ways you are needing and wanting and hoping to be blessed right now. So, again, go in peace, and I will talk to you soon.